on everyone Dennis Schroeder is officially in Los Angeles so uh, according to Dave McMinnon Dennis Schroeder is in Los Angeles and will undergo a team physical this weekend and will be able to fully integrate himself with the Lakers starting Monday after their trip to Golden State so he will not be playing in tonight's game uh, he is in LA he is at Staples Center I'm even about to show you some footage and some uh, of his uh, you know just workout and stuff uh, Dennis Schroeder over on his YouTube channel actually uh, had like an entire vlog of his journey and then him coming in and it was actually really cool so I'll play a couple clips and stuff for you uh, that you could see and then of course link in the description to the full thing uh, I did mute it and we will talk about it and address it uh, over that but nonetheless it looks like the Warriors uh, game today we will not see Dennis Schroeder but we will see him uh, going forward after Monday assuming the physical and everything is good which it should be because he was just playing in Germany so that shouldn't be a problem at all now right off the bat uh, Dennis Schroeder he had this hype tape uh, where he basically uh, showed like his Germany uh, journey and just him working out because uh, D uh, Darvin Ham said that he was relaying uh, to the coaches out there on what he needed to work on. And then he he's talking about his journey and stuff like that uh, from Germany back to L.A. And it was just really kind of cool uh, to see that little insight. Uh, and then he had like the full tour of him going, getting to the Lakers facility. Uh, you get to see him kind of like just, you know, walking through it, uh, seeing how much changes and stuff. Uh, he's with his buddy. Uh, and just kind of like, it was also a cool little insight to see what a lot of the inside looks like, right? Like they got an entire gaming room. Uh, when you walk in, it's all like official and really cool. I know a lot of people haven't seen stuff like this. Turns on the lights and then boom, there's the Lakers locker room. He's trying to find his locker, uh, at, which is down uh, right next to Westbrook. So him and Westbrook are going to be side by side in the locker rooms, which I thought was pretty cool. You're going to get to see uh, Westbrook and Schroeder having a lot of uh, a lot of talks, a lot of relations and stuff. So as you see, Westbrook's uh, uh, locker is right next to Dennis Schroeder. Um, and, you know, it's, it's exciting to finally, we're starting to get the pieces to the puzzle, right? You're starting to see Dennis Schroeder back. Uh, you know, we got Walker back finally. Uh, Thomas Bryant, uh, last game, sort of seemed to break out of his little slump. And we're still waiting on Troy Brown. Maybe he'll come uh, in today. But we're starting to see all the pieces starting to come in line. And I'm really excited for this. I am. I'm really excited for this. And then we get uh, Dennis Schroeder uh, working on his game. He's in the Lakers facility. He's knocking down shots, dribbling, just working on drills, You know, which I thought was another great little insight. So we know that Schroeder is here. He's, he's good to go. Again, here you go. Some, some footage of him uh, working out, playing in the locker room. Uh, all of that stuff. I thought that this was really cool. And, and I am, I'm just, I'm excited for this season. I'm excited to see him uh, kind of, uh, you know, come in and, and play that role. Hopefully we get a Dennis Schroeder that's uh, not too egotistical. You know, hopefully it's not a, a Dennis Schroeder that, hopefully it's one that's willing to sacrifice and do what is necessary for this team. Um, because as great as Dennis Schroeder is, you know, he's, the last time he was here, just didn't work out great, obviously. Uh, now, we're not paying him $84 million, and for the Lakers, it really worked out. But I need to see a humbled Dennis, which I do believe he will be, right? He wants a home. He wants a place that he can go to, and he doesn't want to be a journeyman and stuff like that. And him losing out on that money really was a humbling experience. And because of how great he was in Germany, I mean, he put up like 22, 23, uh, like 6 and 7 or something like that in Germany. So he was solid uh, for that German team. And Teams noticed, and Dennis Schroeder himself even said that he that other teams were interested in signing him, but he wanted to make things right. He wanted to make amends with the Lakers and kind of fix that image. And I, I think he did want to be in L.A. I think he still wants to be in L.A. I think he wants uh, that home, that place that he doesn't have to keep floating around from. And I think if he has a balling year, the Lakers could be that place. You know, he's never going to get that $84 million. It's just not going to happen. He missed his opportunity. He missed his window, and he blew it. But maybe he could get, you know, 8 to $10 million a year if he's that good, that solid. You know, be a real rotation guy, a real rotation piece. Um, you know, or even just like $6 million, stuff like that. You know, I mean, if he, if he, I think he's going to have a good season. Because I think, one, he's going to have a lot he wants to prove. Two, he has a lot that he wants to make amends with. Three... Last time he played with LeBron and Anthony Davis, they were a plus 15, and he was really good. They were one of the better trios in the entire league the last time they played, um, just based on like stats and stuff like that. So can they sort of emulate that again? 
this go around. Uh, you know, I mean, the Lakers traded for him because they really believed in him. You know, they thought that he could be a piece for the future, that he could be their starting point guard going forward. You know, he was young, all of those things. Him and Anthony Davis kind of fit each other's timelines, and that was the idea for the Lakers. It's like, okay, we got we got our point guard for the future. We got Anthony Davis. So even after LeBron James, we got our two pieces we can build around for the future. And Dennis Schroeder ended up, you know, fumbling the bag and kind of ruined everything. And I think this is kind of his redemption tour. This is the opportunity that he has to kind of come in, step up, and show like, okay, you know what? I messed up the first time. My bad. But hey, I'm back. I'm here. Like, let's make this happen. Let's make this work. You know, I'll do whatever it takes. And I need to see that humility. I need to see that humbleness from him. You know, if he's the guy that's like, you know, I'm that dude. I'm the, you know, I'm the star. I'm the starting point guard, this, that, and the other. Then no, cut him, get rid of him. We don't need that on the team. But for the the low risk, high reward type thing, I think is great. Schroeder is going to fit in very nicely with this team. Uh, just his tenacity, his defense, uh, his shooting and scoring. Uh, he's not the greatest shooter in the world, but he's around league average, which is what you need. And he's a guy that can play both sides of the ball, can start, can you know come off the bench, whatever. He's, he's very versatile. And I understand the Lakers had a lot of guards and stuff like that already, so it was kind of a questionable signing. It kind of looked like that was the first sign that Westbrook was going to get traded. And based on reports, Westbrook was. I mean, the Lakers were, you know, a, a moment away from pressing the button to, to go and trade uh, Westbrook to the Pacers. Like, that was something that uh, I apparently almost happened, but they want to see what happens. Schroeder is that, is that backup plan. You know, so like if it doesn't work out and the Lakers do need to trade Russ, well, you got Schroeder to come in and kind of step up and play that role. So it's kind of that insurance, that Russ insurance. Um, but also, it, he was one of he was one of the best value signings that they got. He's one of the best value signings that were out there. Period. You know, they got him for a vet minimum deal, uh, a guy that it can be solid. He had a rough season last year, but. Towards the back end of the season with the Rockets, he actually did. He actually was playing pretty good. He just wasn't doing too well with the Celtics. And I don't know if that was just him. I don't know if that was the Celtics. I don't know if it was the way that they were trying to utilize him. I don't know. I don't know what it was, but he wasn't very good with the Celtics. Celtics ended up moving off of him. Uh, Houston takes him. And he actually was pretty good for Houston. Um, maybe that was just Houston was kind of just letting them play. And like whatever production you give us is the production you give us. No sweat. And maybe that's the approach the Lakers need to have. You know, just kind of let him go out there and just kind of run and play and just kind of do his thing. And and here's the thing, too, is that, like, he, ha- he hasn't been a part of training camp. He hasn't been a part of, like, you know, preseason stuff like that up until this point. So it's going to take some time for him to kind of figure it guys out. But it, he should be good right away because he was playing in Germany this entire time. So it wasn't like he was just sitting on the couch, you know, recovering from an injury or just eating, you know, Fritos or whatever. Like, no, he like legit is ready to go. So anyway, I just thought that that was pretty interesting. Uh, I, I wanted to show the, the some of the video for you. Again, go check out the full video link in the description below. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. It's, it's an entire like vlog and he walks you through everything. It's like 12 minutes long. Um, so yeah, go check that out. Link in the description below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And as always, this is a discussion, so I want to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. What do you think of Dennis Schroeder being back? Do you think he's going to be a big impact player? Do you think he's going to make a difference? Do you think that this is the guy that is, uh, you know, going to going to be the Russ insurance? It's really going to help this team out in multiple ways. Uh, were you glad about the signing? Were you not? However you feel, good, bad, ugly, somewhere in between. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Let me know down in the comment section below. Quick little shameless plug everyone, if you enjoy my videos and commentary here on this channel As It Stands Lakers, then check out the link down in the description below and go subscribe to As It Stands. Believe it or not, As It Stands was the first channel. If it wasn't for that channel, this channel would never have existed. Because of the success of that channel, it led me to want to create this Lakers channel. So do me a huge solid if you're not subscribed over there, go check that out. Go subscribe over there. I talk all things sports, uh, all teams, things like that, not just the Lakers. So if you just enjoy my commentary and want to hear me talk about other things, or you just, you know, are a fan of other sports and other teams, go check that out. I promise you will not be disappointed. That being said, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know you enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Follow by the bell notification. Stay up to date with all things sports. Join this wonderful community and all of our discussions. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.